What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Charizard for Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Charizard, obviously everybody loves Charizard. This Pokemon can hit like an absolute truck due to its ability and its health item. It's rocking solar power, it's rocking life orb. Obviously, we got the fire terror type because we're here for some big time damage. Then we got heat wave, air slash, dragon pulse, and protect. But I know what you guys are thinking. Jeans, where's your Sunsetter at? You don't got Torkoal, you don't got Murkrow, you don't got Whimscott. We're rocking Sunny Day on Sneasler today. Pretty fast Pokemon, great Pokemon in Regulation H. Hopefully this works out. Never really use Sneasler as a Sunsetter, so gonna be a lot of fun. Sneasler's got Poison Touch with the Focus Ash, Rocking Dire Claw, Close Combat, Sunny Day, and Fake Out. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features a bunch of meta Pokemon. You got Electabuzz, who is a great support Pokemon within this format. You got Rillaboom, who does Rillaboom things. I don't even need to explain it. You got Dragonite with multi-scale and loaded dice, with scale shot, haze, protecting extreme speed. And last but not least, you got a big time physical attacker with this sword stance, King Gambit. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Charizard in ranked regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and look what we have here. Charizard versus Charizard. You absolutely love to see it. They're also rocking out with Umbreon. They got Noivern, Inteleon, Corviknight. And last but not least, they got Flash Fire Cerule Edge. I really do like going in with our Charizard and our Sneasel here, so that is exactly what we're going to do here for our lead. In the back end, we're going to kind of need a nice little Pokemon to kind of deal with, like, Inteleon. So maybe Rillaboom could be good here. I mean, Rillaboom's only good up against Inteleon, so maybe we might want to go into a different Pokemon. Maybe, like, Electabuzz here. I mean, Electabuzz isn't terrible. I mean, Thunderbolt can be super effective onto Inteleon and Corviknight. Plus, we got Follow Me. I feel like that could be good. So we're going to go into Electabuzz here. And last but not least, I just think having King Gambit is just a top tier option. It's just such a solid Pokemon. Hits like an absolute truck. You really can't go wrong with it. So we got ourselves Sneasler, Charizard right off the rip. Maybe Fake Out, Heat Wave, or even just Sunny Day, Heat Wave, turn one. And then just have her, like the Buzz, maybe come in here, follow me for the Charizard. We'll see how this one plays out here. But I like our chances here. I definitely do. Charizard versus Charizard. I'd love that. I haven't seen Charizard in a good bit. So it's kind of funny that once we're using it, our opponent's using it. In the first match that's great but Inteleon's gonna come out here with the lovely Noivern now Noivern pretty fast Pokemon could set up a Tailwind I feel like we're pretty much forced to set up a Sunny Day here just to kind of neutralize actually I could fake out this turn and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fake out and I'm just gonna air slash this uh this Inteleon down I'm gonna do as much damage as I can to Inteleon and of course they protect turn one so this is pretty much a free turn for them this is pretty much a free turn I've really want to attack the Inteleon should have set up the sunny day and just and just attacked. Let's see. So they get off a free tailwind. Um, hmm. We definitely want to get off the sunny day. We definitely easily by far want to get off the sunny day. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do this turn. So a free tailwind set up for them. That's huge. Now I'm just gonna go for a sunny day. I'm just gonna send my protect over onto this Charizard because we definitely need to get out this sun if he wants to soak up any type of water move. And I guess we'll go from there. We'll see how this one plays out here. Because Tailwind, whew, getting a little crazy. Getting a little crazy. Yeah, because if I would have Sunny Day last turn, when they protected, I could have protected this turn and then popped on what's it called. And then popped into what's, uh, into Electabuzz and just had Follow Me ready to roll. So there's that. Sunny Day does fly, which is great news. Um, I think now kind of just want to go into Electabuzz swap. This follow me can be great for wasting out these talent turns. And then if I can, do I rip a Dragapulse to get rid of you? With Solar Power Life Orb? I think so. Instead of going after Inteleon. Because there is a chance that Inteleon could protect here again. But I'm going to swap to Sneasler. We got this Sunny Day out here. So Snipe Shot probably shouldn't KO unless they double down into me. And Electabuzz is going to pop out here. And there's to protect from Inteleon. So we could call on our end to swap that turn and to target down this uh, Noivern. Dragon Cheer comes out here. He's going to boost this thing's crit ratio with Snipe Shot. So that can get real ugly real quick. That could get real ugly real quick. On top of that, we got Dragon Pulse flying, which is huge. We say bye-bye to Noivern, and that's a pretty solid turn for us. That's a good turn for us. So they got Dragon Cheer boosted on probably their Snipe Shot Scope Lens Sniper Inteleon. That's scary. And if they don't have any double-hitting moves, I can just simply follow me here. Get off some damage. Let's see. I'm going through this rule edge. I was going to go for maybe like a heat wave, but... Hmm. 
We have Terror Ghost. I could just go for Thunderbolt and Protect if I want to. Or I can just go follow me. And maybe just attack. How many turns are left in Tailwind? One. She's going to double Protect here. I think that's easily our call. I think that's easily our call because we gain some speed. We are going to lose some... Uh, we are going to lose some HP due to solar power, but getting rid of this Tailwind is pretty big for us. We can't really allow them to get off this, this extra turn of Tailwind. So this double protect flies from your boy. Sup? I hate this game, man. I don't- <laughs> I hate this game. Substitute comes out here and Bitterblade's gonna fly. Oh, man. I was gonna air slash into that Italian slot. That would've been pretty big. Solar power flies, um... Tailwind's gone. Our speed should be decently high now. It should be faster than Italian, right? I don't know, that's kind of close. I'm still going to go for follow me here. I think we'll deal with the Teleon later. I'm just going to target down this, uh, this through ledge. So follow me comes out here. Snipe shot's going to attack. And do you not get redirected for follow me? What ability do you have? Or does substitute bypass that? I'm really I'm kind of curious about that. Bitterblade's gonna rip me. Bitterblade does half damage. I'm really curious. Oh, static's nice. I'm really curious. Why did that snipe shot? I'm trying to think. Do you have an ability? Do you have a? I don't even know. I don't even know. But Sneezer's not bad here. Um, we got Dark Call ready to roll. And I think we are gonna do that. I think we're gonna try to drop a Thunderbolt into this. Uh, into this Intellion. I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna die call. I could double down into this thing. He could protect, but I don't see him protecting with substitute on the field. He does, dude. This Inteleon's getting me all day today. This Inteleon is just getting me all day today. Really protecting behind a substitute worked perfectly though. It worked perfectly. It works so perfectly. So I still have King Gambit. Um This is just terrible for us. This is real bad. This is real bad for us. And a bitter blade's gonna launch take out my Sneasler. Oh man, this sucks. This really sucks. We are getting torn apart here. And it's pretty much because of this Inteleon. This Inteleon is just getting after me. Like, we have two full turn, actually four turns basically, because I doubled down into this Inteleon twice and to protect it. Twice. Now we could see a Terror type pop out here. Um, I am gonna just Thunderbolt here. And do I Swords Dance? I could dance up the Swords. I could Terrasalize. Yeah, I'm gonna Terrasalize and just start launching Sucker Punch in this slot. Actually, we should outspeed it. I mean, going into just like Kowtow Cleaves probably your play. I'm with that. I'm with that. He's gonna he's gonna swap out here. I think I didn't go for a Sucker Punch. We switched to Kowtow Cleave. And who's taking this? Who's your final Pokemon? Let me Corviknight. Ah, uh, all right, all right, Corviknight. I see ya. I understand. Corviknight comes out here. It's gonna take a big fat Kowtow Cleave. Um. But Inteleon is really just like the deciding factor of this match. Not looking good for your boy. It is not looking good for your boy. We Terrasalize Dark here. Snipe Shot is going to launch. Can we soak this? Probably not. Yeah, the crit's just doing going crazy. The crits are just going crazy. And then he's behind Substitute. This one's a wrap. This one's a wrap. So this Inteleon is just going nuclear on us. It really is. I wasn't expecting Substitute. The Dragon Cheer. The Protects really did us dirty. But I mean, Caltech League does some damage, but it's not going to be enough. I'm just going to end up running this match. Let's go hop to our second match. Look to bounce back with Charizard. It is crazy how these recordings work out. We're going up against Charizard. Charizard. Love me some Charizard. Charizard's going to be a tough little customer, but they have Torkoal to set the sun. So maybe I don't even need to set the sun with Sneasler. Maybe I could just attack. But they also got Jump Bluff. They got Incineroar. They got porygon 2 ursaluna as well so actually sneezer is going to be great regardless just because you know close combat super effective onto three other pokemon plus it also has dire call which is super effective onto that uh jump bluff so we got a lot of different options here i'm gonna lead sneezer i'm gonna bring charizard probably more so in the back end they could end up going into like more so trick room side of things so i could honestly just go into like electabuzz right here to taunt that's not bad i like that so i'm gonna end up going into both of them i will bring the charizard and last but not least king gambit could be good here. King Gambit could definitely be good. Over Dragonite though. Hmm. We're gonna go Dragonite. We're gonna go Dragonite here. We are gonna go Dragonite. 
I like King Gambit, but Dragon is just a little bit better typing wise up against these guys. I mean, flying can dodge some of the ground moves from Ursa Luna, plus we resist fire, so that is good. Even though, like, a Torkoal eruption can just destroy me, it'd be a problem. So they're gonna end up going into jump left Charizard, so they're gonna get things started off here with uh, maybe some sun. We're not setting the sun, we're going right into our sneezy. Right into our sneezy. Now, I could just launch a Dire Claw to be honest with you guys, and I might just do that. You could swap in the Torkoal here, but I'm still just going to go for Dire Claw. On top of that, I'm just going to launch a Thunderbolt. I could go for Follow Me, but Sneezo should be fastest on the field right now, regardless of its... Yeah. Sneezo should be fastest unless they swap into, obviously. Unless they swap into Torkoal here. So I'm going to launch a Thunderbolt into the Charizard slot. He's going to end up withdrawing Jump Off, and he's just going to go right into Torkoal. So Torkoal comes out here. Luckily, we are launching Dire Claw. We do have the Focus Ash, which is beautiful news here. And is, he's probably going to Terrasalize and pop a Heat Wave, if I had to guess. I know Sneasler can soak due to Focus Ash, which is awesome. But I like the buzz. Can you soak? Okay, you're going into Ghost. A little bit of Ghost type. We're not faking you out, so that's good news. So they set this on with Torkoal. Dire Claw is going to launch into the slot and do respectable damage. And give me a Poison. Awesome. I'll take a Poison all day. Chunk up some more damage on the Torkoal. Heat Wave is going to launch, and Electabuzz survives, which is massive. That's a massive survival, Electabuzz. We'll take that all day. The Thunderbolt now launches. We pick up some great damage here. And I'm curious to find out if Dire Claw can actually pick up a KO. I am very curious to find out. I could go Stellar Terror type to make sure it KOs. But mm, he's Ghost type now. I totally forgot. I still want to go for Dire Claw in this slot. He could end up just protecting. I wish we had like Throat Chop or something. Could attack the Torkoal. And kind of deal with that with like these two Pokemon. So how fast is my Charizard? He's maxed out. Oh no, he's not maxed out speed. He's almost maxed out speed. That'd be really good. That would be really good. I could close combat with Torkoal. That could help out a lot. I'm going to end up Dire Claw on you. And if I can, get off a Thunderbolt. I'll throw it in the Torkoal slot. Just in case, he might protect Charizard. You never know. He withdraws Charizard. That's fine. That is fine. So, Dire Claw going to launch in that slot. Show me Jump Bluff. No, it's going to be Incineroar. Not bad. Torkoal might be protecting here. He's going to Intimidate. But maybe we can get off a Status Condition here. That'd be a nice little Status Condition. He doesn't protect Torkoal, which is nice. So Dire Claw launches. We get Poison Touch. Lovely. Rocking on that. And we're poisoning up. Chipping up some damage. Slowly but surely. So there's that. He's going to erupt. He's going to pick up the double KO. We're low enough HP. Actually, Electabuzz soaks, which is pretty massive. That's pretty massive that Electabuzz soaks. And now I can just bring out my Charizard, right? I can bring out my Charizard and just simply protect him. I think just a double protect is probably our play. Depending on who they go back into, it's probably going to be Jump Bluff, right? It's probably going to be Jump Bluff. It's got to be Jump Bluff. So I'm just going to go into Charizard right now. I have Dragonite for late game. And if they go into Jump Bluff, actually, yeah, they are they're great. They are going in Jump Bluff. We're just gonna double protect here. Play it simple. They're not gonna they're not gonna set up anything. And the reason I am double protecting is because fake out on Incident War. We're just gonna play it smart because then I can buy out a turn, I can follow me, I can drop a heat wave, I can pretty much get rid of this jump bluff, but it's probably focus ash. But still, just a nice little follow me turn really works out well for us. Yep, there's Fake Out into Electabuzz. So we're probably looking to put me to sleep and Fake Out. If I had to guess, right? No, a Tailwind. Tailwind kind of sucks. A Tailwind kind of sucks. A Tailwind flies through here. But from here, I'm still going to launch a Heat Wave. I still think it does respectable damage into that, into that Incineroar slot. And we'll go for Follow Me just to protect our Charizard a little bit. But a Tailwind is actually a really big play for them. It's a really big play for them. So Tailwind coming out here. Follow me. Going. We got Vital Spirit. So, and we avoided it anyway. And Knockoff's going to launch a KO the Electabuzz. So if we can land his Heat Wave, which I'm really hoping. This could be a big turn because Jump Off will go down to Focus Ash. And Incineroar's going to take some big time damage. Especially with Poison. Heat Wave launches and it does double connect. Beautiful. Give me a burn on Jump Off. Ooh, actually no Focus Ash. No Sash. No Sash. A so Poison's going to chip up. I could just pr double protect again and probably just KO Incineroar. 
depending on how much HP he loses to this poison. Oh no, not the berry. Not the berry. Not the berry. Not the berry. The solar power chip it up a little bit of damage to us. Yeah, and Cinnamon on the field. I got Dragonite Raid roll. Um What is my player? Because I could just simply protect Charizard. And try to pick up a KO with loaded dice. I resist a lot. I resist a lot. I feel like someone has to go after Charizard here. I really do. So I'm just gonna protect it and I am I could honestly just like double protect and then just E speed and Cinnamore. That's pretty good. Let poison chip up some damage. Yeah, I actually really like that because you got a fairy terror type too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna double protect just to kind of read out what they're gonna do. Let the poison chip up a little bit damage. Same thing with solar power on both Charizards, and then be able to E speed through. I like that because Sun does end soon. And I think my Dragonite can pretty much clean up this match. He's not choice banned, so I can E-Speed finish off Incineroar. And on top of that, I can go into a uh, Scale Shot into that Charizard after the Tailwind Sun ends. So yeah, I like that. I like that. We always have Tailwind anyway. The nice smart calls on us. Look at all the wings going on here. Everybody's rocking wings. Everybody's rocking wings. So it looks like they kind of wanted to target down my Charizard here. I could have just protected him and probably just won this game. But Sunlight is going to fade, so no solar power damage. Poison going to chip up a little bit. Now we can E-Speed and Cinnamor, no problem. And probably just go into... I'd rather go into an Air Slash, higher accuracy. Then... Higher accuracy than what's it called? Then Heat Wave. So I'm going to do that. E-Speed. Get rid of this Incineroar. Bye-bye. Now it looks like we're sitting pretty good. Looks like we're sitting pretty good here. The Dragonite's at full HP with multi-scale. You got to remember that. Their heat wave does launch. Do not burn me. And Charizard's surviving anyway. And no burns. Beautiful. Air Slash. I, I legit use Air Slash because I had higher accuracy. And I still miss. And I still miss. <laughs> but now we'll do that. We'll go for a scale shot. Pretty much the game here. You don't got the sun set up. Air Slash. We out speeding. We're picking up the KO all day. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Time for our final match. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record. We dominated in that last match with Charizard. Looking to do it again here in our third and final match. Now, they got Mousehold. They got Basque Legion, but it doesn't look like they can set up the sun. They also have Sneasler. They have Dragonite. And on top of that, they got Rollaboom and Volcarona. So, honestly, I'm just going to go straight into our sun combo of Sneasler and Charizard. Let's get things started off hot here. I like it. We're maxed out on speed as well, which is great. So both of them going to be our lead in the back end. I could bring King Gambit, and I definitely want to bring King Gambit, so I am going to bring King Gambit. And last but not least, probably Rillaboom here. Rillaboom's solid. He's just a solid little Pokemon. I mean, actually, I don't know. Maybe we'll go Dragonite instead. Yeah, I like Dragonite a little bit better. Just typing-wise, it's just it's just better here. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to verse Volcarona. We're going to have to verse Sneasler. We're going to have to verse Dragonite, who could have an air move. So, like Aerial Ace. Could be Choice Ban. You never know. You never know. A lot of them have been loaded dice recently in the format, but you never know. You never know. Could go back to his choice ban days. It was crazy with choice ban and Shen Pao. That Pokemon was ridiculous. But they're gonna end up leading Volcarona and Mousehold. This could be a follow me quiver dance kind of play. And instead, I'm just gonna pop Sunny Day, and I'm, I am gonna throw a Heat Wave across the board. I'm actually gonna Terrasize Heat Wave. Definitely going to throw a slice heat wave into a sunny day. I don't think it's pop bomb asshole. I really do think it's following me. It could be pop bomb asshole. That would be terrible. That would be terrible if it's pop bomb asshole. But the reason I'm not faking out here is because it could just be normal Terra into this mouse hold. Plus, it could just protect. Well, not normal Terra. What is it? Ghost Terra. So, I, li I like our chances of just popping a sunny day. Plus, a lot of the times, like, whenever someone sees a fake out user, they'll, like, swap, they'll, like, protect. And this gives us a free turn and have a chance to set up a sunny day. So, we're going to hit this terror button. Nice, lovely, sunny day Charizard, solar power, all that good stuff. In the fire terror, we're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Good thing that, uh, Volcarona is part bug. Neutralizes our attack. And see, he ends up protecting the mousehold. This is a solid turn for us to just go into a nice little sunny day. And a double protect. They're just reading out what we're doing. So we didn't really like lose a full turn, which is really good for us because we're popping sunny day. That's the best part. That is the best part. It's not like we are just wasting a turn here. I mean, I do lose a little bit of damage due to solar power, but it could be good for us. This could be good for us. I could close combat this mouse hold as well. Could definitely close combat this mouse hold as well. And just go with the air slash instead. 
That's not bad. But you could be... F I don't think you're Focus Sash. I'm going to go into Air Slash. So Air Slash and I'm going to close combat. Let's do it. I don't think you Terrasalize here. I really don't. Especially after seeing Sunny Day. You do Terrasalize. Show me Volcarona. Don't be mouse holding the ghost. Do not be mouse holding the ghost. Oh my lord, I hate this game. I should have just stuck with the Heat Wave, man. I should have just stuck with the Heat Wave. The smart call on his end. Charizard, can you outspeed, please? I don't think Charizard outspeeds. This could be pop on mouse hold. This could get real scary. Luckily, Charizard outspeeds. That's huge. We get rid of Volcarona. So if this is pop on mouse hold, which I kind of think it is now, at least we got off some value with Charizard. At least we got off some value with Charizard. Super Fang. Okay. I'm fine with that. That will half my HP. Charizard's still outspeeding. That's good news. That's great news. That's great news. That is beautiful news. And who's he throw out here now? Gonna be Sneasler. All right, Sneasler. I see you. I understand. I understand. I'm still gonna go for. I'm actually just gonna go for a Heat Wave here. I'm just gonna Dire Claw. I mean, let's do as much damage as we can. Let's just do some damage here. Let's just do some damage. We'll attack the Sneasler with this. And they don't go for fake out, which is great news. We're probably just attacking Charizard. Oh, we get a yo, yo! That is one of the clutchest paralyzes I have ever earned in Pokemon. Cause Sneasler was gonna outspeed and just KO Charizard. Yep, and they turn off their console. I apologize for that RNG, but that is hilarious. That is the most clutch paralyze I have ever gotten. Because Sneasler would have outsped my Charizard, KO'd it. We got a lucky paralyze, and then Heat Wave was just gonna dump on it right here. Yep, would have been game. Thanks for canceling. GG's. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Charizard in ranked Regulation H. We ended up losing our first match, bouncing back in the second match, and then making our opponent rage quit in match number three. It was super funny because we did get lucky with RNG, but it was just so funny how it worked out. It was just like Dire Claw, you seen the Paralyze, and then it just said Charizard use Heat Wave, and then the dude just turned off his console. It was so funny. I absolutely love this game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.